Hey guys, here's another update to my project. Last time I got the beam ready, um, got it leveled and everything. Here you see the upper tube mounts um, and the lower tube mounts down there. I got those welded up and I used beam clamps so that I can remove the beam if I need to. Um, thought it was the best option. They're pretty large and kind of get in the way. This one down here is real close to the steering arm here. There's a light. So I had to make sure that the beam clamp was far enough that way to clear the uh, pitman arm and whatnot. So that's that. Here's a little bit more about how the welder works. Uh, let's see if my camera can pick it up here. So that's probably the best weld I did, um, the one over on the left side there. Um, a lot of that, that one there on the right, a lot of that was me just having a hard time uh, getting into a good position and making sure I got decent penetration and whatnot. I ended up having to splice the tubes together. Uh, it's kind of a mess, but I'll have to grind it and make sure all the welds look nice. Um, these tubes here, there's a tube running all the way through that is um, plug welded into this main tube in multiple locations. So it's going to be strong enough. Uh, mostly I just want it to help reinforce the beam if I hit a bump or something and the beam were to kick back, it'll help. Um, protect the beam and also help the frame head from bending and whatnot. Um, so the upper supports help a lot um, and then with these four supports obviously it's a lot stronger than stock. My plan here is to remove this tube and eventually this tube what I'm going to do first is run a tube from here to there across and then I'll probably end up cross bracing from the upper tubes down to the lower tubes there uh, just for extra strength and bracing but it's a lot stronger than it should be normally and another update I got my wheels finally these are US wheel Baja Mod 940s, I believe. Very cool. Uh, I thought they looked very unique. They're steel. They have a lot of, uh, I think they've got like three, almost four inches of backspace. So there's plenty of room for my four piston calipers I'll be putting on the back here. They're not on yet, but the uh, caliper bracket is. And right now the car, kind of hard to see. It is actually on its suspension finally in the back, which I'll probably have to undo it all again anyway, but figured for mock-up to see where it would sit. That was kind of my thought there. Um, let's see, what else? Haven't done anything on the inside yet. Still trying to determine if I want to cut into the package tray here and lift the engine and transmission up to get a little more ground clearance. Right now I've got a <clears throat> furniture dolly ratchet strap to the engine for ease of getting it in and out. Um, so I think it's got about six inch, six and a half maybe of ground clearance to that header pipe right here to the ground. Might be enough, might not. Um, I'd like it to sit higher, but also the front end right now is pretty tall. You can see there, so the front's going to come down a little bit more. And I may do drop spindles in the front. So it'll probably sit a little higher in the back once that's done. But that's the basic uh, idea anyway. So stay tuned. Um... 
If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video if you like it. Um, I should have a lot more coming. I'll be putting the turbo back together, which I may film the process of that. I sent the shaft and the wheels out to get balanced, so hopefully I get those back soon.